Let's play a game. Here are two rows of icons, familiar to all iOS users. At first glance, the icons above and below look the same, but this isn't the case. In one row, you see real icons, and in the other, a fake. Can you identify which ones are which? Take your time. Take a closer look. Well, have you chosen? Okay, the real icons are on top. I think many of you have noticed that there is something wrong with the bottom row. The shape doesn't look so neat, as if it was either cut off or there are added pixels. Why is this happening? The fact is that fake icons in shapes are squares with rounded corners, well, maybe a rectangle, if we talk about the gray substrate. But here's a little discovery for you. There is not a single square with rounded corners in the iOS interface. All iOS elements aren't squares or rectangles, but super ellipses. Today, we will talk about the design secrets in Apple products. What is a super ellipse, and what is the magic behind the shape of Apple icons, and why is HomePod a super egg? All of this in today's video. Hey everyone, it's Droider, and with you, Valery Istashov, looking at the pixels. Let's go! Apple products often turn out to be contradictory, but not without drawbacks. But I think no one will argue that in terms of design, Apple is probably the most copied on the market. And even the shape of the icons in iOS is not taken from thin air, but calculated mathematically. It's called a super ellipse, or LeMay curve in honor of Gabriel LeMay, who, in the 19th century, made a great contribution to the theory of elasticity, developed a general theory of curved coordinates, and invented super ellipses. So, what is it? This is a geometric curve that is constructed using an equation like this one. This equation defines a closed curve bounded by a rectangle. At the same time, changing the value of n, we can adjust the degree of convexity of each corner. When n is less than 1, we get concave sides, and the shape resembles a star. When increasing the value of n, the shape becomes more convex. If it's equal to 2, an even circle is obtained, and if n is equal to 4 or 5, we get the familiar shape of the icon. This form even has its own special name, Squirkle. And no, this is not your favorite category on Pornhub. It's a combination of two words, square and circle. So in essence, it's sort of like a square circle or circle square. By the way, the formula describing the icon of iOS looks like this. That is, the icon in iOS is not a circle or a square, but mathematically something in between. The historical background, the Danish scientist Pete Hain popularized super ellipses and squircles. In the 1960s, he designed a transport ring in Stockholm in the form of a super ellipse, where n equals 2.5 and a and b equal to 6 and 5 respectively. The shape of the denouement became a hit, and he started making tables and dishes. But the pinnacle of his creativity was the super egg. As you might know, this is a three-dimensional super ellipse, shaped like an egg. By the way, the three-dimensional super ellipses are super ellipsoids, and all sorts of irregular super ellipsoids are super quadrants. My friends, if you're like us and are crazy about scientific and pop information, support the video with a like and subscribe, and we will keep doing what we do. And in the comments, write something about super ellipses. How often do you see them in your life, and where do you see them? And if you want to suggest a topic for the next video, or even a ready-made script, write to idea at droider.ru. Let's work together. But let's get back to the icons. Let's find out the difference between a quadricircle and a square with rounded corners, and why Apple designers didn't like the latter. Let's figure it out. If we compare real icons with fakes, we will see that the rounding of the quadricircle, or let's call it a super ellipse, begins earlier, and the degree of rounding increases gradually. This can be best visualized with the help of such crests of curvature. It would seem that the difference is a couple of pixels, but smooth transitions allow you to achieve the so-called continuity of curvature, and this gives a stunning effect. Thus, the shape of an object doesn't look artificial, as if assembled from different forms, but natural and complete. That's why Apple is very actively using super ellipses, not only in interfaces, but also in the design of its products. Mac Mini, Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, MacBook, and of course, HomePod are all examples of super ellipses. Moreover, even in their new Apple Park campus, there is not a single straight wall. The smooth flow of shapes and the absence of sharp transitions make Apple products not only attractive in appearance. There is even an excellent remark on this from an article by Nikolai Galar. Let me quote him. 
Instead of reminding us of industrial supply chains, conveyor production and chemical laboratories, these softer forms remind us of a beauty of nature. It seems organic. It creates positive vibes. For example, if you compare the design of Apple HomePod and Yandex Station, it becomes clear why the station looks less attractive. It was as if it had just been released from the factory, and the Japanese master Suseki seemed to have found a HomePod in his garden. Although the Yandex Station itself is an excellent device and the home is beautiful, but it's stupid. It doesn't know Russian. But of course, Apple didn't come up with this from the beginning. For example, icons and other interface elements have became super ellipses only starting with iOS 7. It's the same story with the Apple Watch. Series 4 doesn't just have an increased display, but also an updated shape. Yes, Apple Watch from the fourth version is also a super ellipse, just like the screen itself. Of course, not only Apple is playing with super ellipses, the same icons in Samsung One UI are even more obvious squircles than Apple's, but in my opinion, Samsung's chosen form doesn't work. First, because the icons are rounded too much, which makes them look unstable as if at any moment they can roll off the desktop. By the way, in the physical world, the speaker by Mail.ru has the same mistake. It's just unstable, but that's not the most important thing. The main problem in the Samsung's interface is the lack of unity. Smooth super ellipses here are next to rough, rounded rectangles both inside the interface and in the design of the devices themselves. Namely, the unity of the approach from the easiest elements on the interface to the design of the whole product line makes Apple devices appealing and user-friendly. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like an advertisement. Valera, you have applesauce in your head, but I don't care. I just want to pay tribute to the designers from Cupertino for their meticulousness. It was these dudes who showed the whole world that not only cars and luxury goods can be beautiful, but just your standard laptops and smartphones. And for that, thanks guys. That's it, friends. If you liked it, you know what to do. It was Droider and me, Valery Istashov. See you in the future in a beautiful and squarelish in a beautiful and super elliptical future involuntarily i start looking for super ellipses in my apartment <laughs> not counting apple technology in a now you're going to do that too